Hello, welcome to our Holy Week devotional online. My name is Stacy Spears and I'm the Director for Missions and Connections at FUMC Plano. I hope you find these daily readings from the Gospel of Luke and our reflections on those events in Jesus' last week meaningful as you move from the celebration of Palm Sunday to the cross and finally to Easter morning. Now hear these words from Luke 19 verses 45 through 47. Jesus cleanses the temple. Then he entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling things there. And he said, it is written, my house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. Every day he was teaching the temple. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people kept looking for a way to kill him, but they did not find anything that they could do. For all the people were spellbound by what they heard. Early in my faith, this powerful imagery of Jesus' anger unleashing, of tables being overturned and coins and animals being tossed aside in rage, was the first time I sensed the humanity in Jesus. Reading that Jesus felt this uncontrollable angst made him tangible and relatable. <laughs> With my limited youthful perceptions, it felt comfortable to grasp onto his anger and easily call out the deception and sin happening. After all, if Jesus was angry, these must be obvious sinful people selling unnecessary items, distracting people from God's calling. As my faith has matured, I now see the complexity of the situation in greater detail. During Jesus' time, people had a spiritual duty to travel to the temples in Jerusalem during Passover, when they were required to pay the temple tax and offer a sacrifice to God. These travelers were burdened with excessive fees to exchange their local currency to the temple's currency, to purchase an unblemished animal at inflated prices. Images of my participation in our modern day Christmas traditions laced with price gouging trimmings and presents and expectations to be in the season easily explode in my mind. Have I not also played that same role? It's humbling to put myself among them, to feel the disappointment they had to have felt from Jesus' heart wrenchings. Sadness floods me when I imagine the frustrations and the dismay that Jesus must have been feeling as he tried to enter the temple to pray and found distractions and corruption surrounding the temple gathering areas. How far the focus had fallen from God's true expectations for his people. While I still relate to the outburst of anger Jesus was feeling, I recognize that Jesus' anger was more disappointment that God's people, both the lay and the clergy, were missing the intentions and actions of God's calling to them. The temple vendors believed that they were providing a necessary option for the travelers to meet their spiritual duty as determined by their spiritual religious leaders. They could not see the distractions they were creating and divisions amongst God's people. Yes, a sacrifice offering is pleasing, but God's real purpose for His people is to be still and come together in community to lift ourselves up in worship of God's gifts. Unfortunately, His people still struggle with focusing on minor details of what they envisioned God's calling to be instead of the simplicity He provides in direct access to Him through prayer, Christian community, and communion. As a church staff member, I believe it would surprise most lay people that we discuss at length the number of programs, missions, and asks of the congregation at our weekly meetings. Finding a balance of what is offered for true spiritual growth versus the excitement of the next new program or idea is essential to a healthy congregation. As my faith has grown and as my role in the church has evolved, 
These verses are powerful reminders to me as I plan for mission and connection. It is essential to keep the focus on the basics of God's desire for us and minimize the endless distractions that lead us away from God's focus on Him. Amen. I hope your week will be a holy one. Take a few moments to reflect on your own feelings and experiences of the scripture. Each day's readings will be available here. There is also a booklet available to you and an online version at fumcplano.org. We invite you to add Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday services to your week, each at 7 p.m., as well as Easter morning services at 645, 9, and 11 a.m. May God bless you this week as we journey together.